The 10-Minute Drill. This is a big one. It's brought to you by All Pro Roofing. AllProRoofingLLC.com on 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. <laughs> the NFL oh, yeah. world braces for the North Florida pillow fight. More on Jack's Falcons a little bit later in the uh, hour. But uh, for now, I thought we'd start uh, front and center with college football. And, yeah, the two big winners last night from the most recent uh, release of the poll are Cincinnati for, you know, ha- having the great fortune to see teams pile up two losses all around them. Sure. And second is Georgia, who finds itself the, the king of the dipsticks. This is, at least it seems, the the least formidable four that we've seen put together. Well, it seems that way to me. And and, and having a non, you know, and know. having a group of five team in there affects that. Yeah, that. I think that's the only thing. As Ohio State looks like to me they could beat anybody, and we'll see what Alabama has I don't has think Bama's going to be in. Yeah, are they going to lose to Georgia? Well, again, that's going to be that's a what, That's when the interesting debates come. Yeah. Two lost Alabama or one lost Oklahoma State. And if you're Georgia, I it, guess you just have to attack the game like I, we're just going to win. We just have to – because, like, if you're Georgia – and, you know, you know, it's awful tough to go wire to wire, undefeated the whole way. And in the back of your mind, it's like, I don't know, you know, well, if we lose one, this is the one we want to lose because we're still in. Yeah, they're in now. They just they're got in. right. They're in. They're 100%. In. You know, it's funny. I was thinking this. This is how little you regard Cincinnati compared to the big boys. Mm-hmm. But if there were a team, okay, say Alabama had one loss. Right. And it was to Ohio State. Right. All right, that was their only loss all year, Ohio State. Mm-hmm. If they finished the year with one loss, would Alabama be in the four? Say again, if Alabama had one loss? And it was to Ohio State. Oh, yeah. They'd be in the four, right? Shoot, yeah. Why does it Notre Dame get that save gravitas from a loss to Cincinnati? They're number two in the country, and it's their only loss. Because Alabama is Alabama. No, it's because Cincinnati is Cincinnati. That's why. No, because we're talking about Alabama being in with two. Losses. I'm saying one loss. I'm trying to say oh, if so you, Alabama lost to an Ohio State. If you, you lost to the number two or three team. And I, 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 whoever. It's, Georgia. I, know, I understand, but it's interesting. Like, there's a set of rules with the one loss, but then if it gets to two, it changes? Well, it depends. Yeah, if you're playing extra games against the number one team in the yeah. country, it changes. Okay. Because if you didn't play that game, you would have been. Because if why. I'm Oklahoma State uh-huh. yeah. or Oklahoma, okay, and I have one loss. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say, why Why is Alabama getting in with two losses and I'm not getting in? The reason someone would say, because because if you played Georgia, they would have beat your ass too. That's why. Well, you'll never know. Well, I will when I'd I put like, you in and they beat you by 40. Well, then let's try yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, there's you know plenty of reasons. Well, yeah, I, 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 you don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I do. I mean, you have a game. You played an extra game. You finished your season 11-1 just like them. Then they how does it have measure? extra games. So I don't think the Big Georgia. 12 plays it. Do they play a championship game? That doesn't matter, though. You're not playing a Georgia or an Alabama. You're just playing another team. Yeah. A Baylor or someone. At the end of the know, day, it's, in, in the end, in hindsight, you know, I mean. It's just, look, I don't know why this is so hard to make this supposition in college football that we do in the NFL. We don't believe every team in the NFL that has more or less losses is better than other teams. Yeah, but we also know how you also know your road to the Super Bowl right in the well NFL. Get, for, take that part out I'm just saying why do you think that Tampa Bay is better than I'm trying to th- you know top of my head um I'm trying to think of a team that has the same it's record. just a lot of one loss teams that I know. you know deserve uh oh you know I don't see, see to me deserve is where we get off base yeah there's no deserving yeah I think there is deserving I, I don't think, I think if you're is. a one loss you go through a season if you're a one loss team yeah and they're a two-loss team. I think the one-loss team should get in ahead of the two-loss team. Well, I I, I, I would try and try to determine who the better team is. Yeah, that's all. And I don't think in this case your number of losses has anything to do with like who the Notre Dame is not getting in ahead of Alabama with two losses. Well, that's my point. My Correct. point is they're not getting any credit for their only right. loss being the number right. two, whereas Maybe Bama would get. A, I think Notre Dame might get in ahead of two-loss Alabama. Nah. I wonder. You want to bet? No, I don't want to bet anything. Alabama. At this point, digress. I was trying to say that no, Notre Dame doesn't get any credit for the only loss being to the number Alabama, two team. Alabama. Alabama. Instead, they're discredited for it being Cincinnati. The only thing that could get Alabama is if Georgia pummels them. Then they it's might. different. And I don't think Georgia's going to pummel them. But this isn't this isn't a normal year. There's a lot of there's a lot of other teams. And I also that have, will guarantee you this, by the way, because these one, all these one loss teams, there's going to be only one you're choosing between. Is there any? Because the rest way, of them are losing in the second game. Is there any game. way the committee, after Georgia and Bama play, and let's say it does work out and Georgia beats Bama by seven, 
Is there any way Georgia and Bama will meet in the first round? Well, see, they should be one versus four. But they won't. Yeah, see, only it, Bama three. That, no, that might hurt Bama. They might leave them out. You just had this opportunity, and you blew it. We were going to put you fourth, right. but you just lost. So we think maybe it should be Notre Dame, Oklahoma, whoever. Yeah. The I just don't see how can a committee tell you all year long they think <laughs> Oklahoma's number 10 and Alabama's yeah. number two, and because Alabama loses a conference championship game to the number one team in the country, mm-hmm. suddenly Oklahoma's better. Yeah. That's a fair argument to make, too. Really, the only ones with any shot, and obviously Michigan. What's the top eight? We got to keep saying, well, no. I think so. Oh, Baylor's nine and two. They ain't getting in. I promise you that. They're not nine? Oklahoma's 10th. Yeah, well, Oklahoma has a, has a path. Yes. So Ahead of Baylor. Baylor, Baylor well, beat Oklahoma. They're nine and two. If Oklahoma beats them in the title game, they'll be three <laughs> losses. So yeah. What if Texas A and M wins? It is amazing. What if Co- Texas A and M had two losses? You know what's crazy about this? This is it's. Uh, I guess it's just the years of the pound. By the way, Jeff, I don't see Texas A and M already has three anyway, so they can't have two. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. This is the only sport we do this in. It's the only one. Oh, we don't yeah. do it in any other sport. Oh, yeah. We don't do it in college basketball. We don't do it in. Any professional sports, Mm -hmm. it's the only one where we break down who and why and when, and I guess it's because of the limited uh, field. By the way, if FSU is going to go bowling, and most of us think they will because most of us would pick FSU over Florida right now, I think they're going to have to beat Anthony Richardson. All the the talk is that Emory turned an ankle uh, down there this week or some sort of foot injury. And I know this, Anthony Richardson is going to play. He might be playing a lot more than you Well, here here is – a reality for me. Mm-hmm. As this, we've gotten through the tidal wave and the firing and now moving on and uh, resetting, okay? Mm-hmm. I, I don't feel any – I don't feel the chances for Florida winning this week are any less than if they not fired Mullen. Oh, you don't? I don't. Yeah, I don't. I, that doesn't mean I think they were going to beat him if Mullen came. I didn't think they were going to Based on anyway. what they've done the last two weeks. Here's why I would tell you they do, because Mullen's good at one thing. Really good. Even though I don't think he's been that good lately, but – his his best attribute is calling plays. Yeah, they, he's not there to call plays. Right. I have no. Faith Maybe a, a more juvenile him. play caller will just let Anthony Richardson be Anthony Richardson, and for one afternoon, twenty eight carries. Yeah. yeah, maybe for one afternoon, yeah. that's a better. That's yeah. better. Yeah, I I, I do want. I, we should pump the brakes on giving it. I mean, they are five and six. They did lose to Jacksonville State. Oh yeah. So you know, it's more of an indictment on how and, and Florida's been playing so bad, Dan. Yeah. I don't see. A negative change in the like as far as their chances this mm-hmm. week. Mm-hmm. I mean, it might open them up, and we'll see how what kind of pride the players have. You know, we've talked about Mullen and whether he's mailed it in. The players have not played with much pride either. And then when the no. defense does, the offense doesn't perform. When the and then when the defense doesn't, they lose by forty. Abif, I have uh, just for you a stat of the day. Yeah, it just kind of um, brings. Clarity to his name most is Hicken. He's Jacksonville's favorite sportscaster. I know it doesn't rhyme. It's Sam Hicken's stat of the day. Happy Thanksgiving, balls. Thankful for the are. time we had with balls. <sighs> I miss him. Um, anyway, uh, this gives a little bit of I don't know clarity to the quarterback position, or not clarity, but a little um, uh, helps you kind of sort of process what's going on. Like Trevor Lawrence. What's he got, eight touchdown passes? Eight and nine, yeah. Nine. Eight touchdowns, nine picks. And he's lost like three fumbles, right? And he's been on eight and nine for like three months. Right. So, I told you on Monday night I watched Daniel Jones, and Daniel Jones had a terrible game, and I thought he had been getting better. And he does – by the way, Daniel Jones is a really good runner. You've seen him break some Yeah, runs, well, right? shoot, he had like a wrong touchdown yeah. run in his career. Yeah, they're smart to use him as a runner. But anyway, career Daniel Jones. Is throwing 49 touchdowns. Now, we're in year three, I believe, of the Daniel Jones experiment. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Year three. Wow, what a difference that was. I know. Excellent. I have figured that that's where the oh. problems emanate and oh. can be fixed. Yeah. We're going through some technical. So, nothing technical. It just made it much yeah. sound uh, well, better. Well, that's the technical. Yeah, we okay. went from sounding terrible to technically sounding well, much better. for us. Yeah, yeah. You at home, nothing well, I, I, ju- I did the time-tested man's way of fixing thing. I jiggled the wires. Reboot. Right. Yeah. Reboot, right? Uh, so Daniel Jones uh, uh, started 12 games, then started 14 games. He started all 10 games this year. He's 11 and 25. Uh, he's gone from 62%, 62.5%, 64.5%. He's going to throw for more yards than he ever has. But this year, again, Pross, he's got nine touchdowns and seven picks. He's got 
a lots lots of help on the outside and it should be better than nine and seven I guess but but the key stat for Danny Jones Danny dimes is in his career he's got 49 touchdowns mm-hmm. 49 turnovers so he's played Bortles it's no good man he's played Bortles was his, is his completion percentage a lot better he's prettier yeah, he'd be a better. pretty he'd be a pretty uh, Blake, well Blake was like you know 60. What is Daniel Jones? Is, uh, he's 62.8 career. It's probably not as far apart as you think. Yeah. I mean, Blake wasn't classically beautiful, but he had kind of a no, rugged say, handsomeness. Daniel Jones looks the part. He's got the form, right? He's got the, the arm. But I, at the end of the day, I bet his stats look pretty similar to Blake's. What is Daniel Jones' career passer rating? Blake's 59%, by the way. Okay. So That's 3%. Uh, so pass- three out of every 100, he's going to get him. Career passer rating for Blake is 80.6. Oof. Now that's ch- it's hard. To yeah, the game has changed. Yeah, he'd probably be more like ninety now. They design the offense is different. The more eighty-four. Yeah, they're the same guy. So, and no wins. Either. I'm suggesting to you that a Giants house cleaning might be in a might be coming again. Well, they fired the offensive coordinator fired yesterday. Jason Garrett. So they're on their way. I think they'll. I think Gettleman will be gone. You know, and and he's tied to Daniel Jones, who. Doesn't look like through, you know, we'll let him run through the end of this year, but doesn't look like the answer to me. So, I don't know. Just thoughts as we go forward and get ready for a little smorgasbord of NFL games. We're going to um, Friday five-pack coming up. We got that still. Uh, so, we'll do that today as well. Uh, Steven Matz, by the way, goes to the Cardinals. Four years, 44 million. Former Matz pitcher. That- yeah, had seven or eight offers, by the way. There are some guys for uh, – what's the advantage to hurrying before the December 1st lockout? If you're knowing where you're going to go as opposed to wait until – I think I think Murph said it best, too. You some get, people want it in hand before yeah. they go into the uncertainty. I think Murph said it best, too. You get to Christmas and he's a ball player. You, you know what it is? It's the guy who goes ahead and buys his ticket at full price way ahead of time versus the guy that knows if he waits up until, you know, he can scalp it yeah. for X less. Some people like to have it in hand. Yeah. Right? You like having it put to bed, taken care of. Uh, when it comes to the Braves, there's you, you wonder if Freddie Freeman and, and they will reach that moment Very here in the next week. Very quiet on that. Any, any buzz on that at all? Not really, but no. that's probably good. He's not zipping all around the country getting wooed yeah. and wondered. So, I think they're just trying to – it's the years. Yeah. Braves want five. He wants six. So. Two, uh, uh, two quick college football notes before we break on the coaching search. I don't think they had them on their list, but James Franklin ain't going anywhere. Ten-year extension. Same with Hugh Freeze. And Hugh Freeze will get $4 million a year. Hugh Freeze is a Eliminate. strange situation. It's um, I, I really – I went back over his resume. I'm, I'm surprised he hasn't gotten more run from schools that are bigger. That I'm he not sure help. that they want him back in the – Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know. Well, because of his scandalous. Yeah. I mean, it's – I mean, there was some... uh, statute limitations on that, though. Is, oh. I mean, there have been guys caught in, yeah, I don't know. Well, it I mean, what statute of limitations? If Charlie Strong went back to college, he'd have to serve a one-game suspension, is what I somebody told me. So what, For, for uh, recruiting? Show cause, whatever yeah. the heck that was. James Franklin, uh, how would you, without looking, and I'm looking, so I won't answer this question, how would you quantify James Franklin 0-100 to 100 as coach of Penn State? Like, if Nick Saban is 100 and Dabo is a 90. You know, I'm not, I, without, without looking, I, I do, you know, without looking, I'm mm-hmm. just kind of going by feel on Penn State. I feel like they were horrible last year. Okay. Like, like and I know it's a shortened season, yeah. but like two and six or something. Okay. I feel like they went to a Rose Bowl with McSorley under Franklin, had a good year that year, must have. They, mm-hmm. they, I, I would give him eight out of 10. Okay. 80. I give him an 80. an 80. He's been nothing special. He hasn't played in a conference championship game. He hasn't. He hasn't played in a conference championship. I don't game. believe so. I could be. Uh, am I? I'll double check. That. I think you might be right. Uh, he oh no! And well, w- the Rose Bowl year. Yeah, they won that. They were Big Ten champs in 16. Now, oh, so they won the conference championship. They beat who? I don't know if it was their championship game in 16. Well, it must have been. Yeah, they've had it for a long time. Yeah. Wow. No, I don't. Well, so I, I'd bump it up then. If he's won a conference, he's won one conference. I go 85. 85. If you go on a conference, in a, yeah. I, I, do you think Penn State fan is happy with James Franklin? They by the outcry over trying to keep him, I would say relatively. Yeah. Okay. It's interesting. Seven and six, seven and six, his first two years. Then he won the Big Ten. 
riding high. Lost the Rose Bowl, but 11-3. and three. Then went 11-2 and two and won the Fiesta. So 7th and 8th in the country were very good. That's Dan Mullen. Yeah, then he went 9-4 um, and four and was 17th in the country and lost the Citrus. Came back and went 11-2 and two and 19 and won the Cotton. Uh, finished ninth in the country, and then four and five in your year wasn't as bad as you thought. Okay. They went like zero oh and five to start. Though, I, I think. Okay, and, and then uh, seven and four this year with Michigan State left the game. They could very the seven and lose. four this year dulls it. It could be it 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 should be back at eighty five. It is at eighty five. It's eighty five is fine. Okay, yeah. The two now the one thing you there is the two slow years coming out. Yeah. Now he he, but he was going through a lot. I mean, Penn State was yeah. going through. They, right? and they, you know, and they did what I think most big. Time football schools look at with it when they hire a coach. You know, you give me a three-year plan, and once you get to year three, don't be worse than that. Yeah, stay year three or better moving forward. He's been closed, not quite. But there's a likability factor for people too. Like, and Hugh Freeze is, you know, Hugh Freeze is probably at Liberty, and we're winning football games. They're paying him four million a year. Liberty, 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 make it happen. Golly, man, emerging this power. So Big Ten, this is a Big Ten championship game. It's I'll tell you what would have made. There's been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There have been ten Big Twelve championship games, a uh-huh. Big Ten championship games. Uh-huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Wisconsin has played in six of them. Yeah. Northwestern has played in two. Whiskey. Shout out, shout out to shout out to your friend Andy King. Wisconsin uh, actually won the first two in eleven and twelve. And then Urban came, and everything changed. Has Ohio State missed one in the last? Ohio State has won the last four. Okay. They beat Wisconsin by six. They beat Northwestern by 21. They beat Wisconsin by 13. They beat Northwestern by 12. Obviously, the, what's happened here is one side, they almost should redo it. Because on one side, you yeah. got Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State, also known as all the good teams. And on the other side, it's the Wisconsin and Iowa's and, you know, Northwesterns of the world. Leaders and legends. What's amazing is Ryan Day, 33-3 and at Ohio State. Yeah. He's kept it rolling under our Urban, and they're recruiting, so there's no – and I think we've seen enough that there's no reason to think they're going to recede. So I just wonder if – Grand uh, slam. Grand I wonder slam. if he will try the NFL. He's an NFL guy. He had NFL experience. Yeah, well, maybe he will. Seems inevitable at some point. Yeah. Don't I would think? think – well, we have gotten to the point I where – I heard him link college, to the Bears already. A college job is a much more pain than an NFL job now. You should yes. be the other way around. College, That's true. you got to go all year long. Yeah. NFL, you don't. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Uh, uh, we'll take a break. Uh, we'll visit with the cat a little bit. Let's do caller number three. Let's. And uh, what do you got? Uh, caller number three right now, 641-1010. Dan going to get hooked up before their holiday travel with a certificate for a free oil change from our friends over at Tire Outlet. Just be caller three right now, 641-1010. Yes! 